Hey, Gender Crew Chat, Joe here. It's been a very long time, like crazy long time, since I last spoke. And I just wanted to make a quick video because I happen to be in a motel room in St. Louis de ha, du ha ha, H A exclamation mark, H A exclamation mark, Quebec, en route to PEI for a vacation. And um, I just spent a couple of date nights in Ottawa with a couple of friends of mine. And they're the sweetest people in the world. And one of the things uh, they asked me was, to do something called the Human Library, which was, um, I guess it had happened at the Ottawa Public Library where they checked out a person. I think they checked out a gang member and an HIV positive person. And basically the person tells you their personal story. So they wanted me to tell them about my gender journey and my gender queer life. So I did. And they were so riveted and interested and it was delightful. And then James asked me at the end, he said, is your gender journey over? And I was speechless and I just, I, I didn't even know what to say. And I said, well, the day, I, I mean, this is as happy as I've ever been in my skin. I mean, you guys know I had a breast reduction uh, a year and a half ago. Oh my God, a year and a half ago. Um, I have been genderqueer and out for about five years now and embraced that identity fully. And it's really made a big difference in how I feel about life and myself and feminism and and I can't say enough about it. So I have just, I'm in a, such a good place in my life that I thought this was as happy as I could ever be. And it dawned on me, I could be probably happier because probably five years ago or 10 years ago, that was as happy as I'd ever been. And I probably didn't know it could get better. And it did. So it just stands to reason that it can only get better from here on in. And the first thing, anyway, I, I went to bed that night, um, and I couldn't sleep. I was dead tired because we were up all day and being crazy. And I went to bed uh, that night, last night, and I, could, I was tossing and turning. And my mind was just racing about possibilities. Like, how can I continue on my gender journey at age 43, five years into embracing a genderqueer life? And so the first thing that popped into my mind was just how the breast reduction really did change my life. Now, no, you can't really see, but I'm still quite large. I mean, it's still, uh, I'm still an F cup. He only cut me down from an H cup to an F cup. And probably the last video I made, which was probably about a year ago, I was really happy and it was quite flat, but I've probably gained weight and fat, fatty tissue probably re, redistributes in your body. Um, I am still busty, but it's so much better than it was. So I try not to focus on the hole in the donut. You know, I try and focus on what I have instead of what I, you know, what I've gained from the, the reduction and not what I wish I could have gained more, you know, um, but one of the greatest things after the reduction was I was able to buy men's clothes for the first time in years. I hadn't been able to wear men's clothes for years prior to that. I was trapped in ladies plus size, which interestingly, this shirt that I'm wearing, which pardon my Fitbit here, but this is one of the ladies plus size tops that I, you know, I still have kind of left over from my old life. And it just dawned on me, I could work towards, re I, earlier this year I called it, or what a year ago, I called it Project Butch because I really do love dressing butch. That's probably my favorite way to dress. And as someone who is plus size and had a massive bosom for so many years, it wasn't even really an option for me. I could do the best I could, but really I was trapped in ladies plus size tops. And then after the breast reduction, I was able to buy some more men's clothes, but I haven't really nailed it. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot more growth to be had in this direction in my life and it's got me smiling. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I just wanted to, excuse me, check in because I'm still friends with so many of you guys on Facebook and, um, but there's so many that I'm not. I mean, this was the way we communicated was via YouTube and I really miss Gender Crew Chat and maybe one day we can resurrect it. Anyway, uh, have a wonderful holiday if this is your holiday time, if you celebrate. I do not, so I do not celebrate the season, but I do enjoy the days off work. So I tend to travel during this time of the year. So that's why I'm going to PEI to visit some friends and... I'm super excited to have this opportunity to go and then spend that night last night with James and Aaron and James blowing my blowing my mind with the question. And maybe you want to answer in the comments below, is your gender journey over? What's left to do? Have a good one, you guys.